Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EGA Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. It means the swearing-in ceremony of the Minister of Youth and Sports, Honorable Bakari Wai Baji, and three Supreme Court judges, Justice Awaba, Justice Idrissa Fafambai, Justice Omar Momadou Musanjai, President of the Court of Appeal, and Sadiqallo C, Judicial Secretary, and Mr. Bakari K. Sanya, Ombudsman. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, GMRG. Your Excellency, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, Dr. Esatu Ture. My Lord, the Chief Justice Hassan B. Jallo, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Justice of the Superior Courts of the Gambia, Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Mr. Nuha Ture. Ombudsman present here, members of the press, all other protocols duly and respectfully observed. Good morning to all. It would be recalled that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, acting upon the powers vested in him under Section 71.1 and 71.3 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, appoint Bakari Y. Baji as Minister of Youth and Sports. As required by law, Honorable Bakar Y. Baji, Minister of Youth and Sports, is to take the prescribed course, that is, out of allegiance, out of due execution of office, and out of secrecy. It is my honor to invite Honorable Bakar Y. Baji, Minister of Youth and Sports, to come forward and take the prescribed course. Honorable Baji, you are welcome. Why, Baji? Having been appointed as Minister of Youth and Sports of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Bakari Y. Baji, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Minister of Youth and Sports of the Republic of the Gambia 
without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Bakari Y. Baji, having been appointed as Minister of Youth and Sports of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. It is now my honor to invite Justice Aoba to come forward. I, Justice Aoba, having been appointed as Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Justice Aoba, Having been appointed as Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Justice Aoba. <laughs> Having been appointed as Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. Having been appointed as Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Justice Idrisa Fafambai, having been appointed as Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Justice Idrisa Fafambai, having been appointed as Justice of the Supreme Court of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. Thank you. Thank you. I, Justice Omar Momudu Musanjai having been appointed as President of the Court of Appeal of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Justice Omar Momodou Musa Njai, having been appointed as President of the Court of Appeal of the Republic of the Gambia, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. I, Justice Omar Momodou Musa Njai, having been appointed as President of the Court of Appeal of the Republic of the Gambia, 
do swear that I will execute the functions of office of president of the Court of Appeal of the Republic of the Gambia without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. It will be recalled that following the recommendation of the Judicial Service Commission, His Excellency the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, acting on the powers vested in him under Section 143.3 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, 1997, appoint Esadu Jalo C. as Judicial Secretary. As required by law, Esadu Jalo C., Judicial Secretary, is to take the prescribed oaths that's out of allegiance, out of due execution of office, and out of secrecy. It is now my honor to invite Aisatu Jalosi <coughs> to come forward. I, Aisatu Jalosi, having been appointed as Judicial Secretary, do swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Aisutu Jalosi, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Judicial Secretary without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. I, Aisutu Jalosi, Having been appointed as Judicial Secretary, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. Next, it would be recalled that His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, Mr. Adam Abaro, acting upon the powers vested in him under Section 164.1 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, 1997, appoint Mr. Bakari K. Sanya as the Ombudsman of the Gambia. Accordingly, under Section 164.1 of the Constitution of the Republic of the Gambia, 1997, Ombudsman's must take the prescribed oaths before assuming the functions of office. These are out of allegiance, out of due execution of office, and out of secrecy. It is my honor to invite Mr. Sanya to take the prescribed oaths. I, Bakari K. Sanya, having been appointed as Ombudsman, Office of the Ombudsman, do swear that I will be faithful and be a true allegiance to the Republic of the Gambia according to law. So help me God. I, Bakari K. Sanyan, do swear that I will execute the functions of the Office of Ombudsman without fear or favor, affection or ill will, according to the Constitution and other laws of the Gambia. So help me God. <coughs> I, Bakari K. Sanyan, having been appointed as Ombudsman, Office of the Ombudsman, do swear that I will not directly or indirectly reveal such matters as may be committed to my secrecy. So help me God. This is our bar. Good morning, Your Excellency, the President of the Republic, 
Her Excellency, Madam Vice President, the Honorable Chief Justice, the Honorable Attorney General and Cabinet colleagues, my Lord Justice Sock of the Supreme Court, my colleagues <coughs> newly sworn in, the Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service, Madam Judicial Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, all other protocols respectfully observed. I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala firstly, for without his will, this ceremony would not be holding. It is with greatest humility that I stand before you, Your Excellency, and on behalf of my brothers to express our gratitude for honoring us today. Indeed, it is a privilege to be appointed a judge of the Republic of the Gambia, and more so to be elevated to the highest bench, the Supreme Court of the Gambia, and to the President of the Court of Appeal. We are indeed grateful. Certainly to whom much is given, much is expected, and that describes our ovation to the positions we have just sworn to uphold. My Lord, the Chief Justice, we are deeply honored for the trust and confidence you have reposed in us as the Chief Justice and as the Chairperson of the Judicial Service Commission. We wish to extend our appreciation to the Judicial Service Commission through your humble self for deeming us worthy of elevation to our new positions. We also wish to extend our sincere gratitude and appreciation to His Excellency the President of the Republic for acting on the recommendations of the JSC and thereby appointing us to these esteemed positions in our judiciary. Need it be reiterated that under the stewardship of the Honorable Chief Justice and the will and support of His Excellency the President of the Republic, the judiciary of the Gambia has witnessed enormous developments and shall continue to achieve milestones by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We thank His Excellency for his commitment to the independence of the judiciary and thereby ensuring that the judiciary of the Gambia regains its hitherto lost glory. I shall, however, hasten to add that in the midst of all these milestones, the challenges are ever visible, and we continue to urge upon His Excellency, the President of the Republic, and the government as a whole, to continue to give the judiciary of the Gambia the readily needed support if we want to achieve and maintain an exemplary judiciary. A highly respected judiciary is no doubt key in measuring any modern democracy with respect for the rule of law. Today we are proud to say that the judiciary of the Gambia under the new Gambia has for the first time in its history not only a Supreme Court with a full panel of five judges who are all Gambians, but also a court of appeal with an unprecedented full complement of Gambian judges. This This indeed is very reassuring that justice delivery by the capable sons and daughters of this land is at the heart of this administration. A fully manned judiciary will undoubtedly assure speedy trials and avoid delays in the dispensation of justice, thereby building confidence in our justice delivery system, thus encouraging foreign investment growth and the needed boost to our economy. I therefore seize this opportunity to thank all my fellow brothers and sisters on the bench for willing to take up the challenge and to serve our beloved country, the Gambia. Your Excellency, my Lord, the Chief Justice, we appreciate the challenges that come with our new roles, more so serving at the Apex Court, which has, among others, the original and exclusive jurisdiction in all matters relating to the enforcement or interpretation of the Constitution, but for few exceptions and has supervisory jurisdiction over all the lower courts. The position of the PCA, the President of the Court of Appeal, also comes with enormous task, but I have all the confidence in the wisdom of my honorable brother, Honorable Justice OMM Yai. We, however, promise to uphold the trust and confidence you have in us, and we will continue to work hard in contributing our quota in the justice delivery system and in enriching our jurisprudence. Once again, I thank you for believing that we are ready to take on the new roles and responsibilities bestowed upon us. <clears throat> we therefore assure both His Excellency and the Honorable Chief Justice that we shall continue to deliver to the best of our abilities. And so may God help us all. I thank you all. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Gambia, the Vice President of the Republic of the Gambia, 
my lord the chief justice colleague cabinet members secretary general and head of the civil service secretary to cabinet senior government functionaries and our uh, landed judges i greet you all assalamu alaikum Members of the press and ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you deeply touched and inspired by the generous words of congratulations and encouragement that I have received since my appointment was announced on the 30th of September 2020. With enormous gratitude for the confidence placed in me by Your Excellency and with the unwavering resolve to honor that trust. I humbly accept the appointment of Minister of Youth and Sports of our beloved country, the Gambia. I wish to immensely express my deepest respect and sincere appreciation and look forward to working closely and cooperatively with my cabinet colleagues and all other stakeholders in the executions of my functions. It is my considered view that today's realities requires the young people of this country to be identified by their skills, their intellect, their interests, and their healthy lifestyle. So ask to actively participate in the public administration and the implementation of our national youth and sport policy with a view to attain the goals and objective of the National Development Plan. Thus, it is my wish to turn our youth folk into a leading force of the state to ensure their participation in the solution of the socioeconomic development of this country. <laughs> Equally, it is my sincere desire to attain the maximum participation and excellence in sports and sporting activities at the local and international levels. This we cannot achieve without the right investment and support from Your Excellency the President, from the Cabinet, and from all other stakeholders who are in the areas of sports and youth empowerment. Ultimately, I am hopeful that the youth of this country will grow up knowing that they are the priority of the government of the day, that we are working hard to build the future for them. During my tenure, I will embrace the, their hopes and their appeals I am an optimist, and I am full of hope about the future of this country. There are going to be challenges. We will make mistakes, and we will have obstacles as we strive to change and attain excellence in sports and in youth empowerment. However, I am hopeful that Your Excellency will help guide and provide the support that is needed as we journey together to develop this country and its young people. On this note, I wish to congratulate our appointees here and once again reiterate my readiness to work with Your Excellency and the government of the Gambia to ensure that we develop and move forward as a country, as is in the mentioned in our national development plan. Thank you very much, and once again, Your Excellency, thank you for the trust and confidence you have in me in appointing me to this position of a Minister of Eden Sports. Yes, uh, Your Excellency, Madam Vice President, Honorable Judges, Honorable Ministers, uh, distinguished guests, let me first start by recording our appreciation to His Excellency the President for acceding to the recommendations of the Judicial Service Commission uh, for the elevation of the Honorable Justice Arba to the Supreme Court, the elevation of the Honorable Justice Idris Ambai uh, to the Supreme Court, uh, the appointment of the Honorable Justice Maud Unjai as President of the Court of Appeal, uh, and of uh, Aisha Tujalo C uh, as the Judicial Secretary. In the same vein, I'd like to record our appreciation also for Your Excellency's continued support to the judiciary uh, in ensuring its independence and its efficiency and also for strengthening the rule of law in the country. We greatly appreciate Your Excellency's efforts 
uh, and the efforts of your government uh, in that respect. Uh, my congratulations go to the new appointees and the new elevations. Uh, with these appointments in the judiciary particularly, we can look forward to, to improvement uh, in the system of the courts. The elevations to the Supreme Court means, for instance, that we will now be able to have more than one panel uh, in the Supreme Court because we have an increase of judges, local judges, from five to seven. Uh, it also means that when the Supreme Court exercises its jurisdiction to review its previous decisions, uh, which requires a panel of seven judges, we now have a, a complement of seven Gambian judges who can undertake that. And there will be no need then to, to co-opt judges from the Court of Appeal, a uh, practice which in the past tended to disrupt uh, the work of that court. So it is a, a good step uh, in, in the right direction of improving the efficiency uh, of the machinery of justice. The elevation of Justice Nyai also is, is, a, is quite a welcome development. Uh, it should help assist us in the management uh, of that particular court. All of, all of the appointments are very well deserved. Uh, all the judges have a record of exemplary service uh, on the bench. Uh, they bring with them to the, to the higher bench a uh, record of good judgment, uh, good judgment, good decision making, a record of hard work, but more particularly important, a record of integrity, which is very, very crucial uh, for the judicial function. So the appointments are all well deserved, and I wish to record our congratulations to them. The Honorable Judicial Secretary likewise brings to the office uh, several decades of experience as a lawyer, as an administrator, both within this country and outside. And we are, we are confident that the judges and the judicial secretary will rise up to the challenges uh, that come with the, with the respective offices. Um, I would like to congratulate the Honorable Minister, the newly sworn in as well, and the Ombudsman uh, in the discharge of their functions. These are important functions of state and we wish them uh, all the best uh, as well. We continue to employ your excellency to, to, to attend to the needs of the judiciary. Uh, the judiciary is a very, very important uh, element in the effort to, to entrench the rule of law, to entrench democracy in the country and thereby ensure peace and stability. So we continue to, to call on your excellency to ensure that the government within its own means provides the necessary resources in order to strengthen the judiciary and ensure and enhance uh, its efficient operations. I thank you once more, Your Excellency, and congratulations to the new appointees and our best wishes to all of them in the discharge of their duties. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the Vice President, my Lord, the Chief Justice, Honorable Cabinet Ministers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Today, we are here for an order swearing in ceremony. This time, it is for the positions of Supreme Court judges, President of the Court of Appeal, Judicial Secretary, the Ombudsman, and Minister of Youths and Sports. The event is part of the continuous search for Gambian citizens to join us in building our national institutions. The judiciary and the executive may be described as two parts of the same coin. They cannot be separated from each other, yet they operate independently to serve the interests of the nation. Therefore, my government continues to intensify the ongoing search for Gambian citizens who can contribute toward the strengthening of our governance structures and the realization of our national goals. The appointment of these Gambians are Supreme Court judges, 
President of the Court of Appeal, Judicial Secretary, Ombudsman, the Minister respectively, clearly shows that as Gambian citizens, we have a lot of work to do together in order to achieve our national objectives and targets through our various institutions. Credible institutions are not mere structures with furniture and equipment. Through systems that operate to serve the public, they are made functional by good character, intelligence, and expertise of the people who staff them. Thus, I encourage new appointees to commit themselves to improving on their individual performances and the output of their offices. Ladies and gentlemen, I must observe that today's ceremony is one that involves the appointments of different senior officials to very important positions. By taking the prescribed oaths of office, these personalities have publicly indicated that their readiness, publicly indicated their readiness to safeguard the trust entrusted to them and to devote themselves to national service in the best interest of the Gambia. My government will never lose sight of its pledge to undertake relevant institutional and legal reforms in accordance with global standards and best practice. The continuous review of our reform programs makes it necessary to set new goals for our institutions, review our laws and procedures, and continually improve output by creating and maintaining at all times a positive attitude toward work and nation building. Good governance cannot exist in the absence of the three arms of government, namely the executive, legislature, and judicial. If one of them is absent or does not function well, it causes imbalance for the remaining two. While the executive and the legislature are influenced by politics, we should not lose sight of the national interest in whatever we do. We must not allow politics to overshadow our national interests or undermine our institutions. With this in mind, let us work together, for it is the surest way of building appropriate systems that work for all. Individuals may come and go, but the institutions stay. I am optimistic that we will continue to work in harmony for the realization of the ideals of our national constitution and the successful implementation of government policies and strategies as spelled out in the National Development Plan. As you take up your new appointments, ladies and gentlemen, remember that you are part of national structures that complement one another and your decisions and actions in the course of executing your duties will have a bearing on the lives of Gambians. I urge you to be genuine, truthful, and reliable wherever you may be. On behalf of all Gambians, I congratulate you on your appointments and thank you for accepting to serve the nation in your various positions. We wish you success. We are one Gambia, one people, one nation. Together, we shall trump. I thank you for your attention.
When we touch down, but I broke down. Gamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. Transfer <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to go to the hospital